Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop and I want to give you a Major League Fishing recap from the first Bass Pro Tour on the Kissimmee chain. Man, I had a really good first tour event. I ended up missing the cut by that much. Uh, ended up in 11th place. Um, really neat tournament. Uh, got to fish mainly all Lake Kissimmee, a little bit on Lake Toho, a little bit on Lake Hatch and Hall. Um, used a few different techniques, but one of them carried me through almost the whole tournament. And it's a technique called speed worming or swim worming. It's basically using a worm and reeling it straight in. And the way I was fishing it was both subsurface and surface, depending on the conditions. Um, two days we had windy, cloudy conditions. On those days, I fished a worm subsurface. I'm gonna show you the bait I fished. Really cool worm by Berkeley Power Bait called a wind-up. And uh, break one of these out, and I wanna show you why this is so good for speed worming. And there you have a look at that tail. It's a regular worm style body, but instead of a ribbon tail or a straight tail, it's got a little paddle tail, just like a swim bait on it. On days it was windy, I'd rig that with a four out hook, an eighth ounce weight tied directly to braid on a bait caster, and I would just fish it like a vibrating jig or like a spinner bait, and they would eat it up. But I made a key change on the last day, and I fished that same worm on the surface. No weight, 4 out VMC hook, but this time because there was no weight, I actually fished it on a spinning rod. And what was happening is, under calm conditions, warming water, a lot of male bass were getting shallow and they're starting to look around to want to spawn. Buzz bait was too loud, chatter bait too rackety, but that little wind up worm just on the top making a little bit of a V-wake was driving them nuts. Interesting thing, I fished it on a spinning rod, even in Florida. Uh, and I used the Abu Garcia Ike series rod. I used a really cool size. It's a long rod. It's a 7.6 medium action spinning rod. Paired that with an Abu Garcia Ike Revo spinning reel in the 30 size. And last but not least, I used 10 pound Berkley X9 braid direct to the bait. No leader, just buzzing it on top. That braid is buoyant, so it kept it on the, kept it on the surface. Really, really cool technique uh, between the wind-up, the rod and the reel, fishing it two different styles on a VMC 4-aught offset hook. Really helped me get 11th place finish, my first BPT tour event on Kissimmee Lake.